Breaking news here at 6 o'clock. This is a look at Dennis and Ashley Prince killed in Monday's law office shooting. The Clark County coroner making the official identification just moments ago. The coroner also identifying the shooter as Joseph Houston II, and that tragedy raising the question, should family legally represent other family members? Thanks for joining us here at 6. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. We do have team coverage tonight on that shooting. 8 News Now investigator Vanessa Murphy with new information on what led up to the shooting. But first, 8 News Now reporter Ryan Matthew joining us in studio with the information about who else was inside the room when those shots rang out, Ryan. Yeah, Denise, Brian, according to police, seven people were in that room yesterday. We already know the victims were on one side of the table. That's going to be Dennis Prince, a former Las Vegas attorney, and his wife, Ashley Prince. On the other side of the table, we knew Joe Houston, who is the one accused of killing them, was sitting here. Now, a court reporter, as you see in the middle, is in the middle of all of this. Sources are now telling the 8 News Now investigators an attorney for Dennis's ex-wife is also on that side. Mother Catherine was being deposed. At this point, we don't really know where Dylan Houston was, but we do know he was not here. Now, Dylan and Ashley have children together. Dennis was representing his new wife in a custody dispute. Joe was representing his son in that same dispute. It's all a story of family representing family in a highly contentious dispute. Numerous gunshots in the building. Gunshots that took the lives of a prominent Las Vegas attorney and his wife. The alleged shooter, also an attorney and the former father-in-law of the wife. The scene was located in a very, uh, in one specific suite, that's suite 560. The same suite where 8 News Now interviewed Dennis Prince in January. It's his law office. Seven people convening inside Monday morning for a custody deposition. Think a legal interview under oath. Sources tell the 8 News Now investigators that Dylan's mother, Catherine, was was being interviewed. Court documents show that Ashley was trying to get custody of the two children she had with Dylan. They expected Catherine to say her son needed rehab for substance abuse, as alleged in divorce documents. But that moment never came as gunfire rang just minutes after the deposition started. We don't want to be involved in situations where we have personal a personal stake in the outcome. That's Richard Dreitzer, president-elect of the State Bar of Nevada, acknowledging no Nevada law prevents attorneys from taking on cases, even with a conflict of interest. It's up to the attorney to decide for themselves, can I do this? Do I believe in my heart that I can be competent and diligent despite the personal connection to the case. It's not necessarily advisable because tempers run high when it comes to family. Now, between those three people, there are now six children who lost either one or both of their parents. Dennis's children from a previous marriage are mostly adults. Dennis and Ashley share a newborn together, but that's not who the deposition was about. This was for the two children Ashley and Dylan shared together. Both are under the age of six years old. Now, those two children are now in the care of Ashley's sister. That's per an emergency order. But a full custody hearing is scheduled for as early as next week. New 